The Girl Who Loved Wild Horses Story and Illustrations by Paul Goebel The people were always moving from place to place following the herds of buffalo. They had many horses to carry the teepees and all their belongings. They trained their fastest horses to hunt the buffalo. There was a girl in the village who loved horses. She would often get up at daybreak when the birds were singing about the rising sun. She led the horses to drink at the river. She spoke softly and they followed. People noticed that she understood horses in a special way. She knew which grass they liked best and where to find them shelter from the winter blizzards. If a horse was hurt, she looked after it. One hot day when the sun was overhead, she felt sleepy. She spread her blanket and lay down. It was nice to hear the horses eating. A faint rumble of distant thunder did not waken her. Angry clouds began to roll across the sky with lightning flashing in the darkness beneath. Suddenly there was a flash of lightning, a crash and rumbling that shook the earth. The girl leapt to her feet in fright. Everything was awake. She grabbed a horse's mane and jumped on its back, and in an instant the herd was galloping away like the wind. She called to the horses to stop, but her voice was lost in the thunder. Nothing could stop them. The horses galloped faster and faster, pursued by the thunder and lightning. They swept like a brown flood across the hills and through valleys. Fear drove them on and on, leaving their familiar grazing grounds far behind. At last the storm disappeared over the horizon. The tired horses slowed and then stopped and rested. Stars came out and the moon shone over the hills the girl had never seen before. She knew they were lost. The next morning she was wakened by a loud name. A beautiful spotted stallion was prancing to and fro in front of her, stamping his hooves and shaking his mane. He told her that he was the leader of the wild horses who roamed the hills. He welcomed her to live with them. She was glad and all her horses lifted their heads and neighed joyfully, happy to be free with the wild horses. The people searched everywhere for the girl and the vanished horses, but they were nowhere to be found. But a year later, two hunters rode into the hills where the wild horses lived. When they climbed a hill and looked over the top, they saw the wild horses led by a beautiful spied stallion. Beside him rode the girl, leaning a colt. They called out to her. She waved back, but the stallion quickly drove her away with all his horses. The hunters galloped home and told what they had seen. The men mounted their fastest horses and set out at once. It was a long chase. The stallion defended the girl and the colt. They tried to catch him with ropes, but he dodged them. He had no fear. They might never have caught the girl, except her horse stumbled and she fell. She was glad to see her parents, and they thought she would be happy to be home again. But they soon saw she was sad and missed the colt and the wild horses. Each evening, as the sun went down, people would hear the stallion neighing sadly from the hilltop above the village, calling for her to come back. Eventually, the girl became ill. They asked what would make her well again. I love to run with the wild horses, she answered. They are my relatives. The parents loved her and agreed that she should go back to live with the wild horses. They gave her a beautiful dress and the best horse in the village to ride. The spotted stallion led his wild horses down from the hills. The people gave them fine things to wear. They painted designs on their bodies and tied eagle feathers and ribbons in their manes and tails. In return, the girl gave the colt to her parents. Everyone was joyful. Once again, the girl rode beside the spotted stallion. They were proud and happy together, but she did not forget her people. Every year, she would come back, and she always brought her parents a colt. And then one year, she did not return and was never seen again. But when the hunters next saw the wild horses, there galloped beside the mighty stallion, a beautiful mare with a mane and tail floating like wispy clouds about her. They said that the girl had surely become one of the wild horses at last. Today, we are still glad to remember that we have relatives among the horse people, and it gives us joy to see wild horses running free.